Hey everybody, we're back, and as promised, big news today. Wanna tell them? I quit my job. Yay! Yay. <laughs> so, <laughs> Leslie quit her job. Yesterday was her last day, and um, she's been working there for, how long have you been working there? Almost four years. Almost four years. It really wasn't a part of our plan to quit this early no but it was always a part of the plan to quit next so, year yeah next year was the plan it was going to be next march but ended up being yesterday well, there was lots of different reasons and why hell of a year <laughs> hell rough. of a year 2017 was rough it's going to work out for the best because now you can do some of the downsizing mm -hmm. and getting rid of all of the stuff that we don't need and can really focus on getting Lauren prepared for college. She's a junior this year and she'll be a senior next year. So, and that's kind of why we say that, um, you know, if you've seen any of the videos before, we say we're gonna hit the road in about 18 months because we really don't know what it's gonna look like. She's gonna graduate next May time frame. She's gonna graduate <laughs> <laughs> next May time frame, And um, so we really don't know what that's gonna look like as far as like getting her into college um, she has my Montgomery GI Bill, post 9-11 GI Bill, so we'll have to make sure that we do all the paperwork for that, get her ready, she has to figure out where she's going to go, we got to get her settled in, so, I mean, it could be, you know, uh, on the early end of the 18 month mark, it could be closer to two years, kind of depending on how quickly we get her out and get her settled, we still have to sell our house, mm -hmm. and um, so there's just a lot to do, and so, by Leslie quitting her job and I should be able to focus on a lot of that so that'll be um, interesting and I'll, I'll be very jealous because I'll still have to work for the next at least 18 months and um, hopefully um, everything will go as planned and we can get out of here in about 18 months but I have to start cooking for 18 months yeah so. not cool <laughs> not It'll a big painful for cooker me but we're gonna save a lot of money because well, we were doing a lot because you know we're both working all day and we live about a half hour from where we work we worked at competing hospitals by the way and uh so by the time we got home I mean, we get off around five ish but not really because we would both generally work a little bit later than that and then so you don't get out of work until 5 30 sometimes six o'clock half hour drive back home till about 6 30 and getting started with dinner at 6 30 and then dinner and then clean up. clean up and then you know shower and then by the time you sit down at the end of the day um, you know your day is over and a lot of times I'll do some work from home too um, you know with my wood burning business or with just work stuff from from work I have to be on my computer and answering emails and uh, and looking at the different things that are going on in, in my hospital so it's long days, so I mean we're gonna save some money because we were we were calling in food a lot and ordering pizza a lot just because we were so tired and didn't really want to mess around with cooking or cleaning or whatever. So we just ordered food. So we're gonna we're gonna save some money there, yeah. and um, we're also gonna be able to get some money off the stuff that we're gonna be able to get rid of by downsizing and selling mm -hmm. some of that stuff. And uh, so we'll be able to save money with grocery shopping because we do have a little grocery store right down the street but it's really expensive yeah. and it was more convenient just to stop there rather than to go to the commissary or to sam's club so but she'll be able to now go to the commissary or sam's club and be able to to save us some money on groceries too it's not going to save us as much as she was making but just being able to not have that stress and the gas and the gas to, to and from work every day we're going to be losing a little bit of money but it's not enough to be worth the stress that yeah losing more stress than one yeah so it was it was a good good payoff and then we also know that you know by the time we get ready to to get in the rv and take off like the majority of everything will be ready to go but we're super excited because she's not working anymore and now she can hang out and she's like super excited about what's your what are you most excited about well i'm not gonna tell the truth <laughs> I can watch the prices right. Yeah, <laughs> Plinko. <laughs> I miss the prices right, but I like that I could shop grocery shop during the day. Yeah, not after work when it's already dark. Yeah, I can go to the post office yeah. on a weekday. I haven't done that in forever. That's nice. We got a lot of 
lot of stuff planned for videos. Um, we're going to talk about how we plan to make money on the road. We're going to talk about what kind of uh, equipment we use to, to do our videos. Got a drone for Christmas. I don't know if you <laughs> saw that on the page, but I got a drone. <laughs> and it looks like it's not very windy out today. So might be doing a drone test today or tomorrow. We'll definitely put that up because I'm probably going to crash this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Practically guaranteed. <laughs> we're gonna go out in like a Bounce field. It off some stuff, <laughs> we're gonna so. go out in a field where I can't destroy it on the first flight. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna try to not destroy it on the first flight. And then also, we got the no pro test coming up. That's gonna be part of the stuff that we talk about when we're talking about what we use for equipment to to record. Um, but we tested out that camera on the motorcycle. And then mm -hmm. probably today or tomorrow we're going to test it out in the car to see if it's something that we can use to vlog while we're while we're driving. So are you going to miss working at all? A little. Yeah. We, s we said you're going to do some volunteer work. I'm going to volunteer, yeah. That'll last like... No, I still want to be a part <laughs> of patient care. I just, Twice. I like that. Twice. She can volunteer twice. That's my guess. Now she'll do it three times just to spite me. <laughs> I'm gonna help still. But I can come and go as I please. Yeah. That's the best part. Also to celebrate Leslie's retirement tonight, we're gonna go eat lobster and crab legs. We're gonna kill it. <laughs> I'm looking really forward to that. <laughs> Congratulations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You're so gonna wreck that drone. Probably I'm going to wreck it. Even if there's nothing near us, you're still going to find a way to do something. But it'll be good footage. It'll be fun. you got to practice. I mean, you don't learn how to ride a bike without crashing it, do you? <laughs> I probably did. I probably never crashed my bike. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> you don't know, learn how to drive a car without crashing it, do you? Took me a while <laughs> before I crashed my first car. Crashed the hell out of my first Yeah, car. I bet you did. <laughs>